Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing poetry recommendations number three yeah, I wanna say that you want me when I'm upside down, upside down. Yeah, wanna... so As you guys know I do read a lot of poetry um, I've done two recommendations in the videos in the past which I'll link both of those down below as well as my book review playlist full of recommendations if you're interested. First up here I have a pleasant surprise and that was A Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. This book is divided into um, kind of like going for what you need so you can pick and choose and like whatever you are in need of you can read poems for that. So it's if you're dreaming of someone, if you are in love, if you are heartbroken, if you are lonely, if you are sad, if you're missing someone, if you need encouragement, if you are soul searching, if you need a reason to stay, and these are for you. So this is full of just lovely poems and there's also, I just really enjoyed the writing. I think the poems were unique from other collections that I've read from. And also this little like jellyfish on the front, it like is carried throughout the book and it's just really cute. I think this collection is definitely worth checking out. So this is A Love Her Wild by Atticus. I know this one's kind of, I've seen good reviews but I've seen mixed reviews as well. Basically this is full of poems and pictures which I personally really like the pictures. I think they're very, some of them are simple but they're so pleasing to the eye and I just think they're, they're, they're stunning. Like and the poems, they're short, but they're really good. Like, I liked them a lot. And I was really impressed by this collection. Um, love can be labeled poison, and we drink it anyways. So not the fear of losing them that scares us is that we have given them so many of our pieces that we fear losing ourselves when they are gone. You guys probably expected to see on here if you saw my wrap up, and that is The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur, which I wasn't a huge fan of Milk and Honey, which I know is a very, very, very unpopular opinion, especially for poetry, because everyone red milk and honey and loved it but so I didn't have high expectations for this at all but I freaking loved it basically this one deals with so many topics from like police brutality to immigration to this so to so many topics that I thought were so important to talk about and again it has the whole illustration thing going on so the little pictures and stuff along the way which I always like that little touch of poetry I think it adds a lot so yeah um, to read a poem from here, there's, I tapped so many to the point where like, I don't know which one to pick. They buried me alive. I dug my way out of the ground with palm and fist. I howled so loud. The earth rose in fear and the dirt began to levitate. My whole life had been uprising one burial after another. I will find my way out of you just fine. I just love, it was really good guys. Um, a beautiful composition of broken. Um, by R.H. Sin. You guys know I love this guy's poetry so much. Um, basically, I've read all of his other collections and I've mentioned them all in past recommendations videos, but this one was really good as well. Um, I think I always love his poetry. I think it's so personal. Something about his writing and the simplicity of his poems that I just freaking love. And I love how his collections are usually pretty, like, they're pretty chunky. So like I can just really sit down and just enjoy it so much. And the back says, it's crazy how sometimes you how to destroy to be made anew. Everything happens for a reason, just like this moment. I do believe that when you're dealing with, will pass. These ones are definitely more simple in this collection, but they're really nice. No one in April. These words pour from me like rain from boggy skies. I often fear that I'll drown in my own pool of sadness, submerged, reaching for no one because only I could save me. I've always saved myself. Isn't that beautiful? I love. So last but not least, I have another collection that really surprised me that I really loved, and that is, um, you're Doing Just Fine by Charlotte Erickson. This book, I was actually just not a review at the time, which I love getting poetry for review because honestly, they're such quick reads. Like they're the easiest review copies for me ever, especially because usually poetry is really easy for me to get through. So I'm not really worried about TNFing like um, a review copy of this poetry. But this is um, poetry and prose and it deals with a lot of tough issues, but I just loved it so much. I was so pleasantly surprised that um, Charlotte is such a sweetie. Um, her publicist sent this to me um, and she signed it for me and I've never had when I've received review copies for the author to actually sign it for me ever. So that was really special and I just loved it. I highlighted it. I annotated it. I think it's absolutely stunning. So back says take a shower, wash up the day, drink a glass of water, make the room dark, lie down and close your eyes, Notice the silence. Notice your heart still beating, still fighting. You made it after all. You made it another day and you can make it one more. You're doing just fine. And I have a whole video of me like, um, it's like highlight and annotate with me. 
I have a whole video about it. So there you guys have it. These are my poetry recommendations. Let me know if you would be interested in picking any of these up or if you have read any of them and liked them or if you didn't like them. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.